All right, welcome to your personalized deep dive. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you're ready to unpack this whole world of Immunity Bio. Yeah. A company that's uh right. you know making some waves in this fight against yeah. cancer and infectious diseases. Yeah. We've got a stack of articles and press releases here, Benzinga, Stock Titan, even Business Wire is chiming in. Interesting. And let me tell you, things are getting yeah. pretty interesting. FDA approvals, what? global expansion. Wow. Even whispers of an 800% stock upside. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely something to pay attention to. Are you ready to dive in? Absolutely. Let's uh, let's explore what's making Immunity Bio yeah. or IBRX for yeah. the stock savvy folks out there. Yeah. So buzzworthy. All right. So we know Immunity Bio is all about immunotherapy. Right. But they're not just jumping on the bandwagon. Right. Their approach is what's really turning heads. Well, what's so fascinating here is their focus on activating the body's natural defenses. Mm -hmm. Not just relying on that traditional T cell activation. Yeah. They're harnessing natural killer cells mm -hmm. and creating this long lasting immune memory. Right. Which is really key for preventing those relapses. Okay. So break that down for me. Okay. So they're not just treating the immediate problem. Right. They're training the body to remember and fight back yes. if the enemy tries to return. Exactly. It's a whole different level of defense. Precisely. And this unique approach yeah. is really what's driving the excitement around their newly FDA-approved drug, Anctiva. Oh, wow. It's the first immunotherapy approved for BCG-unresponsive, non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. Okay. Which is a mouthful, mm -hmm. but essentially it's for folks whose bladder cancer hasn't responded to that standard BCG treatment. Okay, and this is big news for a couple of reasons, right? First, mm -hmm. it's a major win for patients who haven't had many options before. Absolutely. But it's also catching the eye of investors. For sure. EF Hutton, for example, gave IBRX a buy rating with a price target of $30. That's right, and we're talking about yeah. a potential 800% upside. Wow. Which is enough to make even the most cautious investor pay attention. Yeah. Their prediction is based on Anctiva's potential to completely change how this type of bladder cancer is treated. Right. And the strong performance we've seen in clinical trials. Speaking of those trials, let's talk about Quilty 3.055. Okay. This one was for non-small cell lung cancer. Okay. A much bigger market. Huge. And Anctiva showed some seriously impressive results there, too. Oh, yeah. Even for patients who didn't respond to previous treatments. Yeah. They saw significant improvements in survival. The data from that trial is truly compelling. Yeah. Anctiva, when combined with chemotherapy, hmm. actually outperformed the standard treatment for advanced NSCLC. Wow. Even in those who had already tried checkpoint inhibitors. Right. Another type of immunotherapy. Yeah. We're talking about a whole new level of effectiveness. And it's not just the U.S. that's taking notice. Mm -hmm. Immunity Bio is going global with Anctiva. Wow. They've already filed for approval in the EU, yeah. which could open up a massive new market Huge. and potentially skyrocket the company's value. That expansion into the European market is a significant step. Yeah. But what's even more interesting is their launch of a clinical trial in India. Hmm. This trial is specifically for patients with BCG-naive bladder cancer. Okay. Meaning they haven't received the standard BCG treatment yet. Ah, uh, so this is about expanding into new markets right. and exploring different applications for Anctiva. Exactly. They're really covering all the bases here. They are. This strategic move not only addresses a critical medical need in a region where bladder cancer is prevalent, right. but it also allows them to gather data on how Anctiva performs in a different patient population, hmm. further strengthening its potential. Yeah, so it's not just about helping people in South Africa. Right. It's about gaining knowledge <laughs> that could benefit everyone. Everyone around the world. Around the world, yeah. That's pretty cool. It is. And all this expansion requires serious production power, right? It does. We can't have a groundbreaking treatment if we can't get it to the people who need it. You're absolutely right. So what does that look like in practical terms? Well. Are we talking labs in someone's basement or? Think bigger. Okay. They've got these state-of-the-art facilities in California and New York wow. that are expected to be fully operational within the next year or so. Okay. These facilities will be capable of producing a million vials of Anctiva annually. A million vials? Yeah. That's a lot of potential patients benefiting from this therapy. It is a lot. And they're not just thinking about production. Right. They've secured a partnership with the Serum Institute of India, mm -hmm. the world's largest vaccine manufacturer. Yeah, the largest. To ensure they have a steady supply of BCG, a key component in the Anctiva treatment. 
that partnership with the Serum Institute is crucial. Yeah. By securing that BCG supply. Right. They're ensuring a large-scale inventory for Anctiva treatment mm -hmm. and demonstrating their commitment to meeting the growing global demand. So they're producing enough Anctiva. Mm. They're going global. Yep. They're even looking at new applications for it. Right. But wait, there's more. There is. They're also developing this cutting-edge Carar and K cell therapy, right? Now, that's where things get really interesting. Okay. This is Immunity Bio venturing into the frontier of immunotherapy. Okay, hold on, because I need to make sure I'm following. Sure. We've covered a lot of ground already. Yeah. They've got this FDA-approved drug, uh, Anctiva, right? for a specific type of bladder cancer. Right. They're expanding into global markets yeah. and even testing it for other types of cancer. Uh -huh. And now we're talking about CAR-R and K cell therapy. You're right. We have covered a lot. Yeah. It's important to understand how all these pieces fit together. Okay. Anctiva is their current flagship product. Right. But they're not stopping there. They're also developing this incredibly promising CAR-R and K cell therapy. Hashtag TTS, the deep dive episode 2024, 10, 26, part two of three. This car RNK cell therapy is like taking immunotherapy to a whole new level. Okay. They're essentially reprogramming the body's natural killer cells mm. to become like these super soldiers that specifically target and destroy cancer cells. So instead of just boosting the immune system in a general way, they're giving it laser focused weapons to fight cancer. Exactly. That's pretty mind-blowing. And they're already testing this in a clinical trial yeah. for B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Okay. They actually chose to launch this trial in South Africa. Okay. I'm all ears. What makes South Africa the right place for this trial? Well, first, it's a region where NHL is quite prevalent, so there's a real need for effective treatments. Okay. Second, it demonstrates Immunity Bio's commitment to addressing global health challenges. Right. Not just focusing on the U.S. or Europe. So they're making a real impact on a global scale, which is pretty impressive for a company that's still relatively new to the scene. And there's a third reason that's really exciting from a scientific perspective. Okay. By conducting this trial in South Africa, right. they're gathering data from a diverse patient population. Okay which will ultimately lead to a more robust understanding of how this therapy works. So it's not just about helping people in South Africa. Right. It's about gaining knowledge exactly. that could benefit everyone around the world. Exactly. It's like adding another piece to the puzzle of global health. That's pretty cool. It is. Okay. So while this trial is smaller in scale, right. enrolling up to 10 participants, yeah. The potential impact of a successful CAR-NK therapy is enormous. It could be huge. This is a completely new approach to cancer treatment. Right. One that could potentially be applied to a wide range of cancers. A wide range, yeah. Wow. Okay, I see why you're so excited about this. It's like they're not just developing a treatment. Mm. They're pioneering a whole new frontier in medicine. It is very exciting. But let's get back to Anctiva for a second. Okay. You mentioned the FDA approved it for bladder cancer. Right. But they're also looking at it for lung cancer, right? That's right. However, the FDA has requested more data mm. before they'll consider approving it for non-small cell lung cancer. So it's like a temporary setback? Think of it more like a detour, not a roadblock. Okay. It just means they need to conduct these larger scale trials right. to gather more evidence. Which makes sense. You don't want to rush something like this. You don't. Especially when you're dealing with a serious disease like lung cancer. Absolutely. Safety and efficacy are paramount. Right. But even with this slight delay, the long-term prospects for Anctiva are still very promising. Okay, good to know. But let's be realistic. <clears throat> the immunotherapy field is incredibly competitive. It is. How does Immunity Bio plan to hold its own against the big players like Merck and Bristol-Myers Squibb? Right. They've got massive resources and years of experience. You do. That's a great question. Yeah. And you're right. The immunotherapy space is like a crowded dance floor. Yeah. With everyone vying for a piece of the action. Hmm. But what sets Immunity Bio apart is their unique approach. Right. Remember how we talked about them activating natural killer cells uh -huh. and creating that long-lasting immune memory? Yeah, that triple whammy attack. Exactly. That's their secret weapon. Okay. Most immunotherapies just focus solely on activating T cells. Right. Immunity bio is going beyond that. Yeah. Engaging different parts of the immune system. Okay. For a more comprehensive and durable response. So it's not just about attacking the cancer cells. Right. It's about teaching the body to defend itself in the long run. Precisely. That's a whole different ballgame. And that's where they see themselves as a leader in this next generation of immunotherapy. Mm. They're not just treating cancer. You're right. 
They're aiming to prevent it in high-risk individuals. Whoa, hold on. Prevent cancer? Is that even possible? With a bold vision. But they're already exploring the potential of using Anctiva as part of a cancer vaccine. So the same drug that's already approved for bladder cancer uh -huh. could also be used to potentially stop cancer before it even starts. That's the idea. That's incredible. But how does that even work? Think of it like this. Okay. We already have vaccines for diseases like polio and measles, right? Right. These vaccines work by exposing the body to a weakened or inactive form of the virus. Right. Which triggers the immune system to develop antibodies. Okay. That can fight off the real thing if it ever encounters it. Okay, I get that, but... Cancer isn't a virus. Right. It's our own cells gone rogue. That's where Immunity Bio's unique approach comes in. Okay. They're focused on activating those natural killer cells. Yeah. And generating that long-lasting immune memory. Right. Could be the key to preventing certain types of cancer from taking hold in the first place. So instead of waiting for cancer to develop and then reacting, they're proactively training the body's defenses to recognize and eliminate those rooted cells. Exactly. Before they become a problem. That's a game changer. It is. And they're already testing this concept in clinical trials, mm. focusing on individuals with a high risk Good. of developing certain cancers like those with Lynch syndrome. So if this works, it could have a profound impact. It could. Not just for those high-risk individuals, right. but potentially for everyone. For everyone. Imagine a world where we could significantly reduce the incidence of some of the most devastating cancers. Precisely. We're talking about a potential revolution in healthcare. Wow. A shift from reactive treatment to proactive prevention. Okay, I'm officially on board with this vision. It is exciting. But let's be realistic. Sure. There's still a long way to go, right? Of course, science takes time. Right. We need more data, yeah. more clinical trials yeah. to see if this preventative approach truly lives up to its potential. Okay. But the possibilities are incredibly exciting. They really are. So to bring this all back to you, the listener, mm. what's the takeaway here? Well, Why should you care about immunity bio and all this groundbreaking research? If you're someone who's fascinated by the cutting edge of medicine, yeah. if you're intrigued by the potential of not just treating, but preventing disease, right. then Immunity Bio is definitely a company worth keeping an eye on. They're not just developing treatments. They're challenging the status quo. They are. Pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in the fight against cancer. Their story is still being written. Right. And it's full of twists and turns, mm -hmm. promising breakthroughs and potential setbacks. Yeah. But... Their commitment to innovation, their relentless pursuit of a healthier future, yeah that's something worth paying attention to. I think that's a great note to end on. Mm. Immunity Bio is a company that's daring to dream big. And who knows, maybe one day, thanks to their work and the work of others like them, yeah. cancer will be a disease we prevent rather than just treat. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep. Hashtag TTS, The Deep Dive, episode 2024-1026, part three of three. I want to circle back to something you mentioned earlier, okay. this idea of using Anctiva as a preventative measure right. for cancer. Yeah. It's incredibly exciting. It is. But also kind of hard to wrap my head around. I understand. It's a paradigm shift, yeah. really. Yeah. We're so used to thinking about cancer as something we react to. Right. Something we fight once it appears. Right. But what if we could flip the script? Hmm. What if we could prime the body yeah. to recognize and eliminate those rogue cells right. before they even have a chance to develop into a full-blown disease? Okay, yeah, that would be a total game changer. It would. But is that even realistic? Well, I mean, we're talking about cancer here, right. one of the most complex and challenging diseases we face. It's certainly a bold ambition, Yeah. but not entirely out of reach. Okay. Remember, we already have preventative vaccines for a wide range of infectious diseases. Yeah. Why couldn't the same principle apply to cancer? Yeah. Especially with Immunity Bio's unique approach to immunotherapy. You're talking about their focus on natural killer cells. Exactly. And creating that long-lasting immune memory, right? That's right. By harnessing those elements. Okay. They're essentially training the body to be on high alert. Mm. Constantly mm. scanning for and eliminating any cells that show signs of becoming cancerous. So it's like having this built-in security system yeah. that's always on the lookout for troublemakers. That's a great way to put it. That's pretty amazing. It is. And while this research is still in its early stages, right. the initial results are quite promising. Okay. They're currently focusing on individuals with a high risk of developing certain cancers, uh -huh. like those with Lynch syndrome. So if this works, it could have a profound impact. 
It could. Not just for those high-risk individuals, right. but potentially for everyone. Potentially, yeah. Imagine a world where we could significantly reduce the incidence of some of the most devastating cancers. Precisely. We're talking about a potential revolution in healthcare. Wow. A shift from reactive treatment to proactive prevention. Mm, okay. I'm officially on board with this vision. Good. But let's be realistic. Okay. There's still a long way to go, right? Of course, science takes time. We yeah. need more data, more clinical trials right. to see if this preventative approach truly lives up to its potential. Mm. But the possibilities are incredibly exciting. They really are. So to bring this all back to you, the listener, Yeah. what's the takeaway here? I think the biggest takeaway is yeah. if you're fascinated by the cutting edge of medicine, mm. if you're intrigued by the potential of not just treating, but preventing disease, right, yeah. then Immunity Bio is definitely a company worth keeping an eye on. They're not just developing treatments. Sure. They're challenging the status quo. They are. Pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in the fight against cancer. Their story is still being written. It's full of twists and turns. Right. Promising breakthroughs and potential setbacks. For sure. But their commitment to innovation, their relentless pursuit of a healthier future. Hmm. That's something worth paying attention to. I think that's a great note to end on. Yeah. Immunity Bio is a company that's daring to dream big, and who knows? Right. Maybe one day, thanks to their work and the work of others like them, cancer will be a disease we prevent rather than just treat. Well, that's all the time we have for today's Deep Dives. Thanks for joining us. And remember to stay curious.